Las Vegas prices are going up all over the place in recent years, making it seemingly impossible to find a good deal. But in this video, I'm going to run down the list of the best cheap hotels in Las Vegas in 2024. You can get a standard room at the hotels in this video for around $100 or less, even with taxes and fees, depending on when you visit. Although room price is a factor in this video, people's opinions on what is best can vary greatly. So I did my best to try to take into consideration as many other aspects as possible for what would make a good cheap hotel. So in no particular order, let's start this off with a hotel that plenty of people are going to call me crazy for even putting on this list. The Strat is going to be the first of six hotels on this list, plus a dark horse property to watch out for this year. One thing that the Strat does to be more competitive with other major casinos is offer lower table minimums. The tables often have minimums of $10 or $15 for crapless craps, roulette, and blackjack. Roulette players will appreciate the flexibility to spread minimum bets across the inside and the outside. The high limit room is fairly small at the Strat, but also has more affordable slots and video poker machines, as well as roulette and baccarat tables. The casino floor offers over 1,000 slot machines to choose from with a mixture of older and newer slots. If you like electronic table games, then you will be happy to know that you do earn rewards points for playing them at Strat. Although regular Vegas travelers are used to getting rewards points for food that they buy at major properties that belong to MGM Resorts or Caesars Entertainment, the Strat also rewards you for buying food on property. So be sure to use your player's card every time you purchase when you're there at a restaurant. When it comes to rooms, depending on what you book and or luck of the draw, you may get a pretty basic room. When I stayed there, the room was nothing special, but it was clean and did the trick. One good thing is that guests receive a booklet with discounts that you can use on the property. It's also worth noting that the Strat does not price match from third-party websites. So sometimes booking through a third-party site can be cheaper, especially if you're someone who likes to buy a vacation package. Additionally, at Strat, you can check in as early as you like without a fee as long as the room is ready. The latest attraction at the Strat is Atomic Golf that opened in early 2024. If you've been to Top Golf at MGM before, then you will be familiar with this experience. You don't need to be a professional golfer by any means. Even if you're an amateur, you can enjoy the fun environment with music, food, and drinks. Dining at the Strat probably falls more in the category of affordable than cheap. At Chi Asian Kitchen, you can get a decent sized plate of Mongolian beef with rice for $23. Other casual spots like PT's and the Strat Cafe are similar in value. In addition to these options, they do have two higher end restaurants, McCall's on the ground floor and Top of the World at the top of the building. At the top, there's also a viewing deck, sky jump and several other rides to enjoy. For those who want to hear some live music and a party atmosphere on the weekends, the Strat provides free live entertainment. Also, a free shuttle service to Fremont Street stops at the Strat, and it's just a short walk to the monorail at Sahara, making it easy to explore more of the Strip. If you want to laugh, then they also have a comedy club on the ground level as well. Some downsides to the Strat is that it charges visitors to park, except locals. The neighborhood that the Strat is in has a largely negative reputation for being dangerous. And although they do have a weight room, there is no spa to relax at on the property. Also, two of the three craps tables are crapless. Treasure Island is a solid choice that combines comfort, convenience, and affordability. First, its location is ideally situated near numerous free attractions like the Mirage Volcano, the Flamingo Habitat, and the Bellagio Fountains. It's also near both affordable and high-end shopping like the Fashion Show Mall, Wynn Esplanade, Grand Canal Shops at the Venetian, and the Forum Shops at Caesars. If you're attending a conference at the Venetian Convention and Expo Center, then staying at Treasure Island is a much more affordable option for business travelers. The rooms at Treasure Island are impressively spacious and each room comes with an unstocked mini fridge that's perfect for storing snacks and drinks. If you want to get in a workout, they do have a quality gym where you can keep up with your fitness routine. Additionally, there's a spa for when you need to relax and rejuvenate as well as a wedding chapel. One of the great perks of staying at Treasure Island is the complimentary valet and self-parking. This is a significant advantage in Las Vegas these days since almost every casino on the strip now charges for parking. Treasure Island also offers a special promotion through their TV ads where the resort fee is optional if you stay at least two nights. This is obviously an ideal way to get some more room in your budget that you can spend on entertainment, dining, or whatever else you'd like to enjoy during your trip. When it comes to nightlife, Treasure Island is home to Gillies and Senor Frogs, which are restaurants during the day and party spots at night. 
Senior Frogs is known for its Latin music, and Gillies is known for its country theme and free line dancing lessons. If you'd rather see a show, they do have Mystere by Cirque du Soleil, where they list tickets for sale on their site as low as $55. For food and drink, a 16 ounce beer is about $9, and a cocktail around $13. You can get a burger at the Sportsbook for $18, so the food and drink prices are generally a bit lower than much of the other properties on the Strip, so it's a decent value, but not necessarily a great value. When it comes to gambling, they are one of the better value properties on the Strip with $10 minimum bets on craps, along with $15 blackjack, double zero roulette, and three card poker. There's probably around 1,200 slots on the casino floor. The high limit slot room has machines where you can bet as little as 88 cents, and the highest is $50 a spin. Some downsides to Treasure Island include the one high-end dining option they have is a steakhouse whose overall ratings on Yelp and Google are barely above three stars. And also, even though there is a CVS store conveniently connected to the property, a fair amount of the products are locked away because of issues with theft, largely from the growing homeless population in the area. The El Cortez is a well-known budget-friendly option in Vegas. This property was built in 1941. It has a much more old-school classic Vegas feel to it and offers affordable prices in just about every area of the property. Oh, and it's a 21 and over property as well. While Siegel's 1941 is the only restaurant directly on the property, there are two other restaurants across the street called Eureka and Sushi Ichiban, where hotel guests can use their player rewards dollars they earned from gambling. Siegel's 1941 is open 24 hours only on the weekends, but they do offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner seven days a week. On Wednesdays, seniors can enjoy a special 50% off menu. Additionally, Thursdays offer 50% off wines. One of the unique conveniences offered by El Cortez is its complimentary airport drop-off shuttle service 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. every day for guests when they check out. Parking for hotel guests is also complimentary. At check-in, guests receive a fun book with deals like $5 free slot play, $5 dining certificate, $5 blackjack match play, free domestic beer, glass of house wine or well drink, and $10 off a full body massage. An added bonus is the flexibility in check-in times. Guests can check in as early as 10 a.m. without any fee, provided that the room is ready. One unique promo that only El Cortez offers is the boarding pass deal. This is available for both hotel guests and non-guests. What you do is go to their rewards counter and show them either your physical or digital boarding pass from your flight to Las Vegas on any airline, and you receive one free drink voucher to use at any bar, $25 in blackjack match play, and you will spin a wheel where you can win anywhere from $10 to $1,000 in slot free play. The casino floor has several hundred slots, including two high limit slot areas complemented by a couple of high limit blackjack tables. El Cortez is one of few casinos in the tourist corridor to offer coin slots along with U1 slots. They do have a 10X multiplier on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday where you only need to coin in $50 to earn $1 back in cash or free play. Those are also the same days they give you a free ice cream if you earn just 100 points from your play. There is a small sports book where you can bet on all major sports and horse racing and electronic table games do earn points towards your rewards. Popular table games like craps, double zero roulette, baccarat, and blackjack all typically have $15 minimum bets. Some of the downsides to El Cortez are you may get a room that receives a lot of noise from Fremont Street. If you're staying at the cabanas one block north of the property, then you're getting on the edge of the rougher parts in town. The spa is pretty mediocre and there is no pool on property. One of the best things about the Flamingo is its location right in the center of the Strip. So whether you're interested in gambling, dining out, checking out bars and clubs, seeing shows or going shopping, everything is nearby. If you want pool time, you'll probably like what the Flamingo has to offer. They do have an adults only pool area that's known for being more lively and having more of a fun atmosphere. It's a solid choice to soak up the sun, enjoy a swim, or just simply chill out with a drink in hand. If you're in Vegas as a family, then there's a separate pool just for kids. The hotel also features a free Flamingo habitat during the daytime that makes for some cool photo spots. Flamingo's also within close walking distance of places like Stage Door Casino or Ellis Island Casino, where you can find cheap food, drinks, gambling and karaoke. Another thing to remember is that since Flamingo is a Caesars Entertainment property several times a year, they will do a 3x, 5x, and sometimes even 10x tier credit multiplier, which gives you a chance to reach a much higher status for less than it normally costs. 
They also offer tier matching for new signups. The downside is that the hotel does charge for parking, which is something to consider if you're renting a car. Also, being an older property built in 1946, the Flamingo may show a certain amount of wear and tear. And although room prices can be very affordable, be prepared to pay more for food and drinks on the property, as well as higher table minimums compared to some of the other locations on this list. The casino floor at the Sahara is smaller than most of the major strip properties, but bigger than some of the downtown and off strip properties. They just remodeled the high limit slot in video poker area. One cool thing that Sahara does for free is give you an automatic player's card upgrade and room discounts just for signing up to their free email list. They also offer tier matching from other casino properties. So if you have a higher status at another property, it may be worth seeing what Sahara will match you to in their system. The table minimums here are generally lower than most strip properties. Craps is usually 10 to $15, as well as double zero or triple zero roulette and most card games. Baccarat is only in the high limit room and is typically $50 to $100 minimum. And speaking of rewards, Sahara offers a 10 to 15X multiplier on slots one day every week and sometimes on special holidays. At Sahara, it normally takes $1,000 coin in to receive $1 in free play, which is pretty normal on the strip. But if it's a 15X multiplier day, then you only need to coin in $67 to receive $1 in free play. Also, every level you go up in their system comes with its own multiplier for earning rewards dollars that can be used for food and beverage. Another cool thing about Sahara that I experienced myself was that their room offers to players are a full comp. The first offer I ever received in the mail said that I had to pay the resort fee, but when booking the room with my code, they said the fee was waived. For food, you'll find several moderately priced choices as well as two higher end options. Bala offers a cozy Italian atmosphere while Bizarre Meat is arguably the best steakhouse on the strip. If you need a workout, Sahara offers a nice weight room with a variety of cardio machines, free weights, and other workout equipment. They do have a spa where you can get a quality massage, but the locker room is very basic and the only other amenity is a steam room. Pool lovers will appreciate the three different pools, including one specifically for families. The Azilo pool is the most popular one, partially because it has more of a party vibe on the weekends. Fun fact, entrance to the Azilo pool at Sahara is free for both hotel guests and non-guests and locals. As far as nighttime partying, there is a club called Malavita, but it's only open on Friday night. The other weekend nights, you can catch a live DJ for free at the Casbar Lounge on the casino floor. Getting to and from the Sahara is pretty easy due to it being a stop on the monorail and there's free valet and free self-parking for all hotel guests and non-guests. A downside to Sahara is its location away from the center of the strip and on the north end. This area does not have a good reputation for safety and has a higher visibility of deterioration and homelessness. Although the casino security is pretty active in keeping it off property. If you like electronic table games, you'll be sad to hear that they don't earn any rewards points and Sahara does not have single zero roulette on property. The standout feature of Tuscany Suites is that every room is a suite, so even the most basic room is going to be bigger than what you'll get at most hotels. My room during my stay was 625 square feet feet for the cheapest room available that night. They do come with a kitchenette that has a coffee maker, unstocked mini fridge, and you can request a microwave to be brought to your room as well. Tuscany's casino floor has several hundred slot machines. They recently brought live table games back to the property. As of the making of this video, there's four blackjack tables that pay three to two with a $15 minimum, while craps and double zero roulette were each $10 minimums. There's plenty of chances to relax at Tuscany with two pools, two hot tubs, and a massage room. The fitness center is sizable enough for an adequate workout. There's also a laundry room on site in case you need to wash anything during your stay. They do have several food options from the budget friendly to the higher end. Pub 365 has a massive hamburger called the Unicorn Burger for just $16. Maryland's Cafe has plenty of options for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bisteca is an Italian steakhouse that serves as their high-end dining option. They also have a showroom where you can catch their two most popular shows, Rat Pack is Back and The Jew Man Group. The casino lobby bar and lounge also regularly offers live music. And if you're driving to Vegas, you'll be glad to know that Tuscany has free parking and free valet service. 
Some downsize to Tuscany that is just off the strip and has a noticeable amount of people nearby living in tents and coming in and out of at least one underground tunnel opening, although security does a good job of keeping out any issues from that. Also, the check-in process when I stayed there was not very good. You can check in via email, but there's no expedited line once you get there, making online check-in useless. Everyone has to wait in the same line, no matter what, and there's no self-check-in kiosk. The Dark Horse property to keep an eye out for 2024 and beyond is the Rio. Ever since Dreamscape took over operations in late 2023, the company has not wasted any time in putting hundreds of millions of dollars in renovations into the property. So far, they have replaced the buffet with a food hall, lowered drink prices at their casino bars, renovated an entire tower of rooms, added self-check-in kiosks, made the rewards program much easier for players to earn higher status and comp nights, and have more plans to add more food and entertainment options. Oh, and the parking is still free. The Rio will definitely be a property to follow as they will be transitioning all through 2024. This was my list of the best cheap hotels in Las Vegas for 2024. Tell me what you think. Share your opinions and your thoughts and your experiences down below. Thanks for watching. I'm Jacob, and this is my life in Vegas.